Hello guys! Welcome to Majestic Notion. Welcome back to Message Medley Monday. We're not sure if we're going to keep that name. We'll see how it goes here. Okay. Uh, these are a little late today because I had a busy day. So, um, my apologies. But it's always on time. Always on time. So baby, be mine. I'm not always here when you call. But I'm always on time. I haven't heard that in a while. Well, that could pertain to the reading here. So I'm not always here when you call, but I'm always on time. Mm. Interesting. All right, guys, thank you for being here. Let's get started. If you're here, hit that like button for me, okay? It helps my channel greatly to circulate through YouTube. All right, get that reading out there in the algorithms of YouTube in the world, okay? Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and share, share, share. Alright, let's get into it. So today, we're going to be using two decks that I haven't used in a while, two of my decks here. The Pentacles deck, the power of the universe. So we're going to use this, and then we're going to use my Buried Alive, Rising of the Phoenix, number 13, the Death Series. Okay? And we're also going to be getting some tea for you. The truth bomb. Alright, the lowdown messages deck. So, I added a little extra there. I usually do two. Sometimes, depending on, you know, the holiday, the day, I'll do more than two. Today, we're going to do three. So, let's get started. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. All right, collective, what you got going on for me? What's the energy out there? Let's see, spirit, show it to me. Bring it on. Bring it on, spirit. Let's see. I got my money tree for this Pentacles deck right here for my collective. So this could, um, you know, be a little bit of career. It could also um, be about partnerships, okay? Whether in career or in love, you know, sometimes we mix business and pleasure. It doesn't always work out, but sometimes it does. It just depends on, on you know, your growth and what you're doing and who you're doing it with. So be ready for a little bit of a... <laughs> I heard mumbo jumbo, okay? All right. Let's see what we got. One more. I'm hearing three, three, three. Three, three, three. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you kidding me with this card right now? The first card? Wow. <laughs> Well, guys, yeah, I guess here, let's go down the rabbit hole then. Someone has cursed your money sector. Evil eye, dark magic, bad intentions, cleanse and purify. So someone out here trying to, you know, curse your money sector because they see you doing good. They see you bossing up. They see you're successful. And clearly, if they have to cast a spell on that, they're not. So let's see what else is going on here. Yeah, invest in yourself, spoil yourself, self-care. This is what somebody's seeing. You're investing in yourself, you're bossing up, you're spoiling yourself, and there's a lot of self-care. Somebody sees you looking good, smelling good, feeling good, living your best life. You know, just doing you. You're over here minding your business, taking care of business. And somebody's over here hating on you, casting spells and doing who knows what behind the scenes here to try and trip you up. Yeah, save your money, put it into savings for a rainy day. Yeah, you're just, you know, it, you, I feel like you're looking like a million bucks and you're looking like you're making millions of bucks. But you may not even be making all that money. But somebody here got it in their head that you're doing better than they are. All right? Obviously, you're doing better than they are. Okay, some of you could be making millions, hundreds and thousands of dollars. Some of you, you're content with what you're making. 
and and it makes you feel so happy that this person thinks who knows what they're thinking in their head they i i this i know this person is thinking you got way more money than you do for some of you for a lot of you but you're just content okay oh boy there are people around you that would like to help ask for it okay So you're saving your money, you're investing in yourself, you're spoiling yourself. And I feel like you're somebody that if you run into a snag, you're not afraid to ask for help. Or Spirit is saying, you know, if there's, if you want to make more money, um, you know, ask for help. Like, you know, maybe you got a lot of projects going on, you have a lot of ideas you want to get off the ground, and you want to know where to start. Like, you're definitely in preparation for you know, creating abundance for yourself, you know, find uh, a, a little niche for yourself here, but somebody's just hating on that, don't even know, all up in your mix, don't even know what you got going on here, don't even know the flavor, all right, let's keep it going, yeah, get some fresh air, breathing room, and time to yourself, so some of you, you know, you moved away from wherever this is, you're just minding your own business. All right, you're not even on this planet anymore. <laughs> you're on the outside looking in. Okay, so you you could have closed out a cycle with someone or few people that you knew in the past, and they're just bitter as f. It's bitter. That means you're doing good. You're doing something good. Okay, heed the warning. The signs are everywhere. Red alert. Caution. Red flags. All right. Okay, so don't over spoil yourself too much, because this came under spoil yourself, self care, and invest in yourself. So what I'm getting though is somebody could be maybe trying to make a strategic plan to butter you up somehow, because they do see that you're abundant or you at least look like you're doing great. Um, so be careful with whoever this person is all right you could have someone coming across like they got it like that and they don't so be careful with that person yeah save your money with 444 stability balance security solid foundation and taking responsibility yeah so here we go you're feeling more grounded you're taking responsibility there's more balance security in your life you're saving up money for the things that you want or the things that you want to invest in. Alright. Let's see. Lucky year. You're doing great. Financial endeavors. The universe is on your side. So, the you know. Spirit is saying. The universe is on your side. If you need help, ask for it. So, even from your spirit guides. Okay. If you need help, ask for it. You're on a, you're on a lucky streak. It's a lucky year for you with stability. But Spirit is heeding the warning about somebody here. Okay, they could be warning this person if they're watching. Whoever's cursing someone's career sector here. Their finances. Um, so that's a message to someone. If you're trying to get in someone's way, it's going to backfire. I feel like this person is protected with the universe is on your side here. Okay. New wardrobe. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you, you must have spoiled yourself. You did. But well, Spirit's like, okay, don't overdo it. Because people are watching. Yeah, new wardrobe, spoil yourself. You're getting some fresh air, breathing room time to yourself. You're looking like a free bird here. Okay, it's what somebody's seeing. They're seeing you with like a new wardrobe. I'm telling you, somebody's really watching on you. They're, they're really taking notice. Okay? <laughs> this person's... Wow. They ain't got nothing better to do. But to watch you succeed. I'm taking numbers and calling names. <laughs> Career karma cycle closed. Congratulations. 
Okay, so this is the warning here. You closed out some sort of bad karma with career, where it may may have felt like your career or somebody could have, you know, tried to trip you up financially here with, um, you know, someone is cursing your money sector. Um, now, for some of you, it might have just felt like a curse because it didn't matter what you did for a living, what you invested in, it just, nothing seemed to go right, right? So Spirit is saying, congratulations, you just closed out a major karmic cycle out when it comes to your career sector. And of course, it happens in love and in career. So there, so there could be some money coming in, is what I'm seeing. You've been saving, but Spirit's like, don't overdo it. Don't overindulge, okay? And don't make mistakes here. Because, you know, you have good karma here now. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, we got fake partnership. Liar and untrustworthy. Mm. I'm telling you, somebody here is watching. That's the person that's cursing your money sector. That's heed the warning here. It's like somebody sees that you're just, you're doing good. That's what I'm getting. Maybe you weren't doing good in the past, and now all of a sudden they see you living it up. Now, it's not that you're going nuts, you know, you know, making it rain everywhere you go, but they see, you know, you bought some clothes. Some of you, maybe you moved somewhere a little bit better, or, you know, you're just looking more abundant in all ways. Let's see. Dear of the unknown, take a leap of faith. You know what to do. With you're doing great financial endeavors, the universe is on your side. There are people around you that would like to help. Ask for it. So there might be an opportunity coming up for you guys, okay? Do not have fear of something new because you're starting a whole new cycle here is what I'm seeing when it comes to opportunities and um, money here. You're on a lucky streak. So if you need help... Even if you started something new, that might be coming in. All right. Some of you may be scared to ask people for help. Spirit is saying, you know, ask for it, but make sure you ask the right people, of course. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. I can see why you might need help. And I could see... So either somebody's looking at you this way or it's because you're about to come into something here. Yeah. Windfall. Inheritance, settlement, lottery winnings. So some of you might need to lawyer up. You might need a trust fund. So you might need help. Um, for those of you who might win a settlement here, a, like a big settlement. Or inherit some money. For some of you, could be lottery winnings. Obviously, that's not for everybody. Um, what else is behind that? Okay, for some of you, you're getting $100,000. And it's a gift from the universe. Surprise blessings. Yeah, there you go. Good karma. Your first $100,000. Get that money. There's more where that came from. Now, this could be from a business you're starting here. Okay. It doesn't have to be exactly $100,000. But it's, it's something to get you going here. The Spirit is saying, don't spend it all. It's a divine gift. So it's coming. Oh, and they want you to take a vacation, a getaway. You deserve it. Yeah. I'm telling you, yeah, prosperity. You're manifesting. 888. Manifesting, prosperity, abundance, and positivity. Because you're in a positive mindset here. You're going to have money to take a vacation. And money is starting to trickle in here. And your ideas are worth pursuing. Yeah. <laughs> Collaboration. Living your best life. Now on the horizon and very soon. So for some of you, definitely there's an opportunity here coming. Something about your ideas. And collaborating with, with others. 
Huh. Yeah. Yeah, we have a wealthy man here, hard worker, giver, cur courteous. And then we have what you're investing in requires research. Do your homework. So there could be someone here wanting to work with you or you're the wealthy man here. But I do feel like it's the wealthy man that wants to work with someone here because you're like coming into some type of inheritance, money, or opportunity. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Let's keep it moving. So I'm going to use my Buried Alive deck. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Because there are some shady people around this as well. Always. Let's weed these out, shall we? Let's weed them out then. Two more shuffles, spirit. Two more shuffles. Someone just hating on your style, like they just feel like I don't know. They like hating on your style. You got style. They like your clothes, but they would never admit it. It's like who are you to spoil yourself and look this good? Okay, <laughs> comprehend. <laughs> Someone's trying to comprehend. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Who are you? Everything I touch, I mean, everything I thought <laughs> I knew about myself and connections has been turned upside down. I'm only left with more questions. So you turn somebody's world upside down and they're a little bit bitter because of it. Okay, I feel like you moved away from whoever this was. This could have been a fake partnership you were in. And they're over here scratching their head like they probably don't even know why they're so obsessed with putting roadblocks in your way. They're trying to figure it out here. It's because they're a little obsessed with your life instead of being obsessed with their own life. Okay. Yeah, we got the void. Authentic and irreversible insight in the depth of darkness, pain, and sorrow is where I connect with a higher power. Yeah, I'm telling you, some of you went through some major changes and transformation here. And you have major insight into who you are now. You are protected by the universe. And you close out a major cycle, karmic cycle here. This could be, again, both in career and in love here. Uh, the path less traveled. You might have felt deserted, alone, and like no one is beside you. It's not what you think. This is where you will finally come alive. You are not alone, spirit. Yeah, I have a feeling, you know, you guys had to start from zero. And you were saving your money. And now you're feeling more balanced, more secure, more stable. You know, after dealing with some type of liar here and someone that was untrustworthy. It was like you were alone in the situation, but spirit moved you away from someone that wasn't right for you. It was like they were keeping you small, keeping you stuck, keeping you from your potential, right? This person didn't allow you to blossom like you are right now. Still watching. Yeah, there we go. This is no walk in the park, but trust and have faith that it's leading you towards the things some can only dream of. Yeah, this is a solo journey here for you. Number 41 adding up to 5. So, a lot of changes here. Okay, with fear of the unknown. So, something requires a leap of faith here. It's a lucky year for you. And there are people around you that want to help. So, you're going to meet people along your way that you, um, you know, like-minded individuals that you can actually work with, build with, and um, flourish. A lot of collaboration here. Yeah, it's like, and for some of you, you had to comprehend something. It was like, everything you thought about connections has been turned upside down. 
and you were left with more questions. Then you went through the void, you know, the depth of your darkness, pain and sorrow is where you connected with a higher power. You have irreversible insight. So you went through an awakening here. Okay, nine, 19 adding up to 10, you closed out a cycle. Okay, stability, 4, 4, 4, and 4 here. And then 5, change after many challenges. Um, 89 adding up to 17, adding up to 8. Yeah. And we had, we had 888 at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, look at that. You were dealing with a traitor, and that's the person doing spells. Is someone that turned their back on you, perhaps chose someone else? Okay. It says, certain people in your circle spoke ill of you. Know that they were looking out for their own interest. So, traitor. You had a traitor here that turned their back on you. And now they can't stand that you're doing better. So they're probably still stuck in whatever they were stuck in in the past. And you changed this whole person's perspective when it came to to connections. Because I feel like this person fell for you. But they were a little bit of an asshole here. Maybe not a little bit. Maybe a lot of bit. Okay. No. You know. Low vibe. Another 10 here. 46 could be significant as well. Yeah, entrapment. 88. My soul feels tormented. Sometimes I just want to scream and escape myself. Thoughts of you replay in my mind over and over again. That could it be how you live how you left this person, but you could have been in this energy for a while when it came to this person. I have a feeling some of you might have dealt with it like a karmic soul tie. Those are the worst, man. It's like ugh. It's dicks because there's a tie there, you know. It's not like just... You could just walk away from any regular old person, right? You know, it might take you a couple weeks, a few months to forget about them and just move on. You meet a karmic soulmate and they wreak havoc in your life. They're a little vibrational. Oh, my God. Ugh. Anything with a karmic tie, you're not going to go through a happy uh, situation. Uh... And it's like fucking white on rice. It, it's just, it, it's hard. Even when you don't want nothing to do with this person, sometimes it just pops up in your head and you're like, what the hell, man? Get away from my head. My thoughts, my dreams, you know, just leave. But it festers, you know, sometimes. Yeah. Okay, the comeback. Yeah, you're having a comeback. And you had to be isolated. This is like the hermit card. Okay, this is where you will finally come alive. You are not alone, spirit. So the comeback, you're not the same person they knew, but in your heart, compassion still remains. Be proud of how far you have come. They won't know what hit them. Yeah, you went through major transformation, Queen of Wands energy. You're ambitious, you're stable, you're beautiful, you're looking good, smelling good. I mean, you're simply irresistible. She's so fine. There's no telling where the money went. In your pocket, in your bank account. Okay? Because you're making it happen. Nice. Number 64 could be significant here. Another 10. <laughs> you're just closing it out, closing it out, closing it out. Moving forward. I love it. Ooh, and there we go, the fall. You have caused someone to question it all. They will never forget you. Somebody is coming down. It's going down. I'm yelling timber. You better move. You better dance. Huh. Dance, I say. Number 52. <laughs> When I when I got you better dance, I'm I'm seeing like bullets being shot at this person's foot, <laughs> and you making them dance. I don't know why. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, fifty-two, number seven, 
divine path, divinely guided, absolutely. You are very protected. Yeah, there were some challenges, two fives here, and then we got one and two. One foot in front of the other. You follow your intuition. There's new beginnings. You're following the path of abundance and balance and peace. It was beautiful, powerful. I'm loving it. Yeah. Self-worth. There you go. You took your power back. From now on, I give myself what I should have never looked for in others. Taking your power back. Self-worth. XOXO, hugs and kisses to yourself. Number seven. 61 could be significant here. Spiritual lesson number six. And finally, again, listening to your intuition. Number one. Yeah, here you go. Closure. And see, this is what keeps you in your mind. You know, when you finally close these kind of cycles out with these types of people whether it's karmic or karmic soul tie, whatever. It, it's because of the lack of closure. But now you understand that not every question needs an answer and not every answer will suffice. I move forward knowing that I am enough. So there you go. But guess who's in their head all the time now because you're succeeding. And they felt some type of way when they met you. They just, they were a traitor. They turned their back on you. Okay? They treated you like you were nothing, like you were beneath them. But you're the one having a comeback. And they're watching every step of the way. That's why they're doing spell work. So we have inner standing. I am starting to feel like myself again, only wiser, stronger, and more aware than ever, before, than ever before. Again, we have 61 here. <laughs> and look at this. We have number 60 here. And then we have number 16, 666 here. So 61, 16, 60. The void, the new beginning, your intuition, irreversible insight. And another one. Crazy. What else? Yep. They're going through a tower moment in their life. Okay. Self-realization. 71 adding up to 8. The truth was standing right before me and I chose to ignore it. I couldn't allow myself to be vulnerable. I ran out of fear. I was a coward. Yeah, they had fear of the unknown. So that's the person that had fear of taking this path. So they got stuck. Now they see you succeeding and they're stuck. Because they never grew. They never healed. They never, you know, fear of judgment, wearing a mask, self-sabotage. That's what this person did. And that's why they're having a fall because they're trying to trip you up and cause blockages in your life because you actually had the balls to... Walk this way, talk this way. Yep. You're collaborating. You're going to meet people that are different. But the collaboration, I mean, Run DMC <laughs> it, with um, <laughs> Errol Smith, that was a badass combination back in the day. Okay? You're going to be collaborating with people alike and different people. And what you're going to do together, wow, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Yeah, taking initiation. I am the fire and from these chains I will be bound no more. Yes, self-worth. You got it. 24 could be significant. Again, adding up to 6. Lots of 6s here. Lots of 8s. I mean, damn. And lots of 1s. And 4s. Very synchronistic reading here. Um, yeah. Death and rebirth with the void. You went through a rebirth for sure. 
There comes a time when one must surrender the old self to rise anew. Number 13, adding up to 4. You were a seed planted in darkness. And, you know, through all the shift and changes, you started to grow. Okay? Beautiful. Yeah, healing and heart space. I will never forget nor ignore the depths of my emotions. I know now how to swim in my own waters. Beautiful. Number 17, again, adding up to 8. 16, 17. Inner standing. Very nice. You went through a lot. And boom, there it is, Dalin, Stardust. You are made up of magic that people still fail to understand. Sparkle that magical vibration everywhere you go. Number 34, adding up to 7. Again, 7, 7, 7. Wow. Guys, look all these numbers up. 444-888-666-777-1111. I mean, 11-11. Damn. You're definitely, like, this is divine feminine, divine masculine energy here. You've been through a lot, and you're walking your path. Yeah, this person realizes that you're the one that got away, by the way. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> yeah, number one. Flames in your strength. Okay. The aura you exude is both magnetic and intimidating. That's because you're in your power. And you know who you are and you were dealing with could have dealt with a wolf in sheep's clothing okay the wolf the wolf can bring instinct intelligence and an appetite for freedom it can also bring fear and a lack of trust when the wolf is near pay attention to what your intuition is telling you number 50 yeah I have a feeling you dealt with a big bad wolf and you ain't little Mr. Riding Hood no more. Okay? You you kept it moving. Purification. You are starting to cleanse your mind, body, and soul of outdated beliefs and any toxicities that keep you stuck. There you go. 22. And forgiveness. Today I see myself for who I was and who I'm becoming. I now understand that things don't happen to me, they happen for me. So you've forgiven yourself for who you were, what you know, what you allowed in your life, whatever that means to you. Okay? 29 here, adding up to 11. And 55, you definitely vanished <laughs> from this person's life, absolutely. 55, another 10. <laughs> The world you saw yourself in has become part of your history. And although tomorrow is a mystery, those who thought they knew you will never see you coming. Yeah. You went to become a beast here. You hid away from everyone. You blocked people that don't serve you. You put up, you set up boundaries. And you are growing, growing, growing into your best, strongest self. You will not fail you're on the path and you are divinely guided and protected and it's up from here because you understand yourself okay you know I love it so I'm gonna get some messages here from the truth bomb okay deck let's see here yeah. Hmm. I love to see that. 
there's so much you know this takes a lot of strength a lot of um, even when you didn't have it but you did it anyway or you're doing it and that's admirable you against the world you against you know yourself taking reins and matters into your hands to be better to do better and to create a very stable life for yourself to be at peace to be at balance to be happy that's very admirable not everybody could do that okay because when it comes to walking by faith and not by sight a lot of people have fear of the unknown but you're not supposed to have the answers before you take that faith that leap of faith it comes as you go it's a new journey just like you were on a journey before but you weren't awake and you had no self-worth you still put one foot in front of the other and walked into a lot of things but now you're more aware okay you have irreversible insight you're connected to the divine and the ethers the universe here so you're gonna be able to use your discernment now and that's that's a gift within itself and you gave yourself this gift by stepping in your power and loving yourself first that that takes strength yeah I only see you this person still tunnel vision they only see you they only think of you they can't get over you okay yeah you were surrounded by naysayers you could have people when you maybe you um, wanted to start something new you could have been like moving forward and these people are trying to keep you stuck they were naysayers they were like oh that's not gonna work oh you shouldn't do this you know how it goes and you're like you know what nah I'm gonna take a chance and it's paying out it is paying out I feel you have some surprises coming to you spirit is on your side spirit will never let you falter Ooh, I'm planning on sweeping you off your feet that's that fake partnership that liar so this person is planning on coming back here watch out you know better though you know this devil yeah you go with the ebb and flow now all right you're on a whole new journey on a whole new level yeah you got off your ass spirit could be telling this person to get off his ass whatever he's doing but I feel like you got off your ass and if you only had tunnel vision for that person you don't anymore okay I'm hearing that song I had a vision of love and it was all that you given to me was it you treated me kind unfaithfully it was like this person had a double personality they were stringing you along they would give you just enough to keep you there and then they would like either ghost you reject you or like pretend like they didn't know you in your face that kind of person is is who you um you know were hoping to grow something with in the past you treated me kind they believe Stop living for others? Yeah. Um, I have a feeling that that person is surrounded by naysayers and they live for others. Okay? Yes, that could have been you in the past. Not anymore. Upshits Creek. Yeah, that's because this person's coming to sweep you off your feet. Okay? And they're a liar. They want to partner up with you because they see you're doing good okay this connection was temporary exactly mm -hmm. that's why the cycle is closed that's why you're on a new path so it was like more like a lesson here for you yeah keep it pushing that's what you're doing yeah they are a thing of the past exactly 
and spirit is cheering you on you got this okay so spirit is behind you they're they're next to you behind you they're they're with you and they're giving you a heads up either in this reading or you know if you divinate because you're awakened whoever I'm speaking to here right okay and your intellect arouses this person but too little too late and that they have self-realization you know and they're having a tower moment since you've been gone <laughs> oh boy bottom of the deck here let me put a smile on that face I told you big surprises spirit something's coming for you loved by many you are choose wisely why are you loved by many because you have changed for the better or you're changing for the better okay you are made up of magic that people still fail to understand sparkle that magical vibration everywhere you go everywhere you go you sparkle a little stardust you leave a little stardust behind your imprint okay and people love that shit they love to hate it but they secretly love it they do yep it was it will come when it's meant to come into your life focus on you whatever this surprise is yeah you took off your rose colored glasses and you're looking elsewhere that's what I'm seeing here okay because you were being lied to and yeah you be laughing all the way to the bank <laughs> laugh so hard your haters start crying yeah keep doing you it looks good on you yep and if they if they ignore you for someone else they can't hold a candle to you and they know it and yeah this person was ignorant okay Uh, this person got somebody pregnant also unless you have a, a child with this person this person got somebody else pregnant and you dust yourself off and you're trying again somewhere else okay and they have an unhealthy attachment to you yeah look at that they just can't get enough stalker vibes this person needs to detach from your energy they can't they feel they really do feel you're the one that got away but there were too much of an asshole to admit it they treated you like shit like you didn't even exist like you didn't even matter okay they would give you little moments of bliss because they were feeling it but they were too um, shallow too coward too low vibrational and toxic to do anything good about it that person needs to heal they're stalking you and you are protected see they can't touch you I told you you're protected so all this little magic that they're doing behind the scenes they ain't gonna touch you you are of the divine now you're walking your path and you are protected and true love surrounds you Ooh, can we talk about that spirit yeah somebody that thinks outside the box a twinkle eye crush yep shine brighter your haters are watching so spirit wants you to keep shining okay yeah and somebody saw you shining because you're the blessing they never expected you have a crush here yeah you're the only one that needs to understand why this is your blessing that's the surprise spirit's got for you is whoever this person is and it's going to be someone that you vibrate on a higher level because you have gone through some changes okay you are high vibing while this person in the past is love stone and repeating patterns you're gonna be blessed with a new connection here and abundance yep you are worth more than that yeah they're gonna come love bomb you Spirit is saying you're worth more than that. Because remember, up shit's creek. With, um, I'm planning on sweeping you off your feet. This person's planning on love bombing you. But they got something going on. Okay? Yeah, they're looking for another notch. 
on his or her boat. And they're trying to call you to have some fun to keep you stuck like Chuck. This person is strategic. So strategic. Yeah. Talk about, oh, you stimulate my senses. Okay, I don't know if you know that they have a child. They are the father of that child. But they're going to come tell you, oh, you know, love bomb you, you stimulate my senses. You're going to be like, don't you have a child with so-and-so? Or if you know, I don't know. Um, they're going to tell you that they're not the father, but they are. Okay? They find you sizzling hot. And yes, there will be justice for whatever they did here. And all this magic they're doing. Yep, exactly. They're going to butter you up. You're sizzling hot. They want to have sex with you. So if you never had sex with this person in the past, that's exactly what they want to do. Okay? But it's because they also felt for you. But this person is too toxic, too dark. They have hidden agendas, trickery, and deception. Yeah. The little flirting never hurt anyone. Mm-hmm. That's what they want to do. Yeah, they're trying to find you. So, I don't know, you must have blocked this person, cut them off on social media. They don't know where the hell you're at. Or they're watching you from a fake account. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you're expanding your horizons. So, this is what's going on. Right? They feel that magnetic pull towards you still. But you're the one with good intentions here. That's why prosperity is yours. Abundant path. And you're expanding your horizons. You're going to meet someone new. You have a crush here. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to take a chance. And you're going to be like, no. That cycle is closed. Time's up. Because they're a cheater. Mm-hmm. Yep. And they don't know what to do when it comes to you. And yeah, they're going to get rejected now and that lesson's going to sting a little. Yep. <laughs> I have to keep going. The messages were too good. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to leave it there. You do have a crush here. Um, I want to, you know, I... Okay, because you have a crush, I want to get into that energy a little bit. I want to get some messages from that person. Where they go, spirit? What are we at the bottom here? Yeah, you're the blessing I never expected. Yeah, twinkle eye crush with true love surrounds you and you're the only one that has to understand why this is your blessing okay let's get you some messages here from lovers lane oracle crushing on you i want to know what this crush is thinking when it comes to my collective i know you didn't do all that work for nothing For some of you, they could have, um, if you have a child with that person in the past, they could have treated you like they weren't the father of the child, but they are. Okay. That's for some of you. I see what your crush wants to say. Homebody, let me be your cuddle bear. So either you or this person is a homebody. Some of you could have become a homebody due to, you know, the COVID, the pandemic, and being in hermit mode, do, getting you know, going through all this change. Okay, so somebody could be watching you, or this is somebody you met. Yeah, pillow talk with you sounds dreamy. Oh yeah, this person wants to cuddle with you, Netflix and chill. They want to talk to you. Uh, they want to get to know you. Yeah, I want to experience you in as many ways as possible. This, no, okay, now this crush is all about you. Okay? 
and they are a blessing they see you as a blessing and this is true love I'm open to dating different types of people so you could be different than them maybe a different nationality um, but this person is open-minded okay not like this past person you were dealing with I love a strong woman with a touch of vulnerability so they see you as strong yet vulnerable but that's what they like yeah you got me shook okay so somebody is definitely watching you I'm picking up what you're putting down Ooh. they love your vibe they're picking up that vibe they like it it's unique it's different because you're awakened you got more than just one crush oh shit now that could be talking about that past person still or you got other people watching you not just one I'm open-minded and open to learning new things there you go what else spirit how do you look this good yeah you're definitely having a comeback you're looking better than before yeah wonder if your heart skips a beat like mine does for you for some of you you know who one of these crushes is um, maybe you met them briefly they could be a friend of yours also bottom of the deck time has been good to you yeah this could be like an old friend here I want to take my time with you I feel like that's the new person and you are hypnotic yeah that energy you bring makes you even more beautiful or handsome and look at that I feel a sense of alignment and intimacy with you 51 59 on the clock guys yeah I talk about you often to my friends and family and they would like to see you all right I'm gonna leave it there guys that's a lot of messages Wow see I get carried away because the story just really comes together and I'm like I get excited for you guys man <laughs> especially after you go through something like this so heavy and all this transformation I had to clarify this new person so you have more than one crush you're attracting a lot of energy okay the good the bad the ugly everything in between but you you're using your discernment and you're you're actually attracting true love spirits got a blessing for you here this person is a blessing and you're a blessing to this person I love it alright guys let me know in the comments if anybody resonates and thank you again for watching Monday message medley excuse me message medley Monday alright I'll talk to you guys later bye bye